Here's something that might shock you. Did you know that originally over 60% of the Korean language comes from Chinese? And Chinese is written using characters. You might have seen these characters before in paintings, online, or on your friend's tattoo, which is actually upside down and says toilet. What? He told me that meant true love. These Chinese characters are known in Korean as Hancha. Han being from Han Dynasty in China, and Cha meaning character. In the recent past, Koreans in school were required to not only learn the Korean alphabet, but also Hancha. That's because Hancha was still being used in official documents, people's names, and newspapers. But nowadays, is it really important? I mean, most native Koreans don't even know Hancha beyond the most basic ones like the numbers, days of the week, and that one character on the guy's head in Naruto. But that's okay, because these days you don't need to read or write hancha at all to speak Korean. So I wanted to give you a few reasons how hancha can still be useful today and then let you decide. Here's an example. Okay, so I said you don't need to learn how to read or write these, so let's just take a look at the sounds they make and their meanings. If we read just the sounds these characters make, we get 백문, 불요, 일견. And even if you only know these sounds and their meanings, you might be able to guess this phrase. Here's what I mean. Pek means a hundred, moon means here, bul means not, yo means like, il means one, and kyun means see. So a hundred here, not like, one see. Can you guess what this phrase might mean? What if I reword it a bit? Hearing something a hundred times isn't like seeing something once. Or in English, we might just say a picture is worth a thousand words. And not only can we guess phrases, but we can guess words too. For example, take the hancha pum, which means a product or goods. So if we see it in a word like shikpum and we know that shik means food, then we can guess that shikpum means a food product. Chepum from che meaning manufactured means a manufactured product. Even if you don't know that che means manufactured, you could still guess that chepum has something to do with a product or a good. Now, if I tell you the word hwajang, which means makeup, could you guess the meaning of the word hwajang pum? Take a few seconds. Okay, we gotta move this along. That's right. Hwajang pum literally means makeup product or cosmetics. So you'll be able to guess new words and phrases just by knowing the sounds of the characters and their meanings. But wait, there's more! Each new hancha that you learn will expand your vocabulary exponentially. For example, take the hancha wol, which means month or literally moon. What if we wanted to know the word for the end of the month? We can combine it with the hancha mal, meaning the end, and get Walmart, the end of the month. And if we switch month with week, which is ju, we get jumar, meaning the end of the week or the weekend. And we can replace mal with cho, meaning the beginning of, and get wol cho, the beginning of the month. And knowing hancha will make all of these words easier to memorize because you'll know what they mean. And finally, here's one more reason why you might want to learn hancha. It's pretty cool. Of course, you can impress Koreans even if you only say 안녕하세요. Mwah, 대박. See what I mean? But learning hancha shows Koreans that you're really immersed and interested in learning their language and culture, and Koreans will respect that. But I wondered what Koreans thought about hancha, so I flew to Korea and asked them directly. Here's what they said. 한자를 잘 아는 게 중요하다고 생각하세요? 아니요, 저도 한자 모르는데. Well,我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是汉语的中文。我们的中文是
어, 한국어를 배우는데 한자가 어느 정도 필요하긴 합니다. 네, 엄청 중요하다고 생각해요. 아, 왜 그렇게 생각하세요? 왜냐면 예를 들면 아까 저기도 운동화 축제 하던데 운동이라는 단어 알고 화라는 단어 알았을 때 운동화를 바로 이제 알수 있으니까 음. 엄청 중요하죠. 그리고 대부분 문자들이 이제 또 한자 음 따온 거니까 그쵸. 엄청 중요하다고 생각해요. 네. 아니요, 중요하지 않아요. 중요하지 않고요. 오히려 한국어의 정확한 의미, 단어의 정확한 의미라는 게더 중요하다고 생각해요. 배워두면 편하긴 할 텐데요. 굳이 많이 알아야 될 필요는 없다고 생각을 해요. 한자를 잘 아는 게 중요하다고 생각하세요? 음, 한자요? 네. 아니요, 나 한자 어렵잖아요. 네. 저도 어려워해요. 저도 <웃음> 맞아요. 그래서 어, 한자보다는 한국어 더잘 알면 짱이에요. So what do you think about Hanja? Leave a comment and let me know. And I want to say thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me to create this video as well as more videos to come. And thanks for watching. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.